guys, this is Lonnie's the Missus, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my new subscribers, my old subscribers as well for liking and commenting on my videos. It means so much to me, and thank you for being so positive on my channel. Um, I just cannot thank you enough, and I love you so much for that. Um, positivity is like a really, really big thing in my life, and I, it's like... It means everything to me in order to have positive people around me and in my circle and you know it's just it's just a very good thing for life in your life right so this video is going to be about um, my October favorites and these are things I have been using and loving over the month of October some things I have recently hauled and I have f fell in love with them and um and I just really, really like them. One of the first recent items that I purchased is the Simple Smoothing Facial Scrub. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this. It is so refreshing to use. Um, and I use this twice a week. I exfoliate on Wednesday and then again on Saturday. And um, when I use this, it makes my skin look so new and so refreshed. And um, this is definitely going to be a permanent staple in my skincare routine. I really, really like it. And it's for sensitive skin and it has like all kinds of vitamins and stuff in it and no harsh um, ingredients. So definitely a must try. And if you can catch it on sale... By all means, I think this is the best uh, way to buy this particular item is to catch your own set and to use coupons as well. Alright, so another item is one of my Holy Grail toners. Um, you heard me talk about this several times on my channel. And it is um, Witch Hazel. doesn't matter what brand. I get this particular bottle from Dollar Tree and it's just a dollar. Um, it's good for everything. I mean... Insect bites, minor cuts, and minor stripes. But I like to use this right after I uh, cleanse my face with a cleanser or even, you know, with the facial scrub. I would use this on a cotton round and it makes my face feel so, um, like putting back in what has been taken out of my skin from the cleansers. Also, I use this, if I use a makeup wipe to take off my makeup, um, I will go back behind with the toner to make sure that um, the makeup is re removed completely from my skin if I'm not going to wash my, uh, like do a full cleansing routine. Um, so I like to use this for that. And if you believe it or not, there are, it still would be like makeup particles um, on the cotton round, even after I probably clean my face with two makeup wipes. So this is my holy grail. Highly recommend witch hazels and especially for girls who have really sense of skin or even if you just want to try something different um, and with less ingredients in it I highly recommend with hazel now the next item I have used I've, I was looking for a um, daytime moisturizer that had a higher SPF in it um, so the SPF cream that I was using before had like I think SPF 15 in it and that was minimal, but I wanted to take it up a notch um, in order to keep my skin in tip-top condition and so that I can age gracefully. Um, and the new product that I purchased is the Avon Clinical Skin Invincible. And it's a multi-shield lotion, multi-shield lotion, and it has a broad spectrum of SPF 50. Um, this is like... I've been using this every day in the morning before I leave for work. And this is what I put on my face. Now, sometimes I may mix it with another uh, moisturizer because my skin does get dry in the wintertime. So, um, this has been the new thing. I hadn't had any issues with it. My skin is still clear. And I love it. So, I this is this is a fairly new product with um, Avon. And... It was in a couple magazines. I was like, oh, okay, well, let me try it. And it does come with a set. It comes with like a night nighttime cream. But I don't really need a nighttime cream because I have other creams that I have used, have been using and I really like them. So, 
this is my daytime cream like I said um, I do mix it with a extra moisturizing cream in order to make sure my skin is hydrated especially within the winter months so that's that for skincare and the next item I have is a hair care item now I did do a like a review on this and um, I will link it below and it is the she shine infusion hairspray this is like this gives me life I mean I have other creams that I really really not creams other hair sheens that I really really like but this is so light on my hair and it's cat and it seems like it keeps my curls or my ways depending on how I get a roller set it seems like it keeps keeps the men like keeps the body in or the volume in because I like big hair keeps the volume in um for a longer period of time so I highly recommend this and it is you will probably see this in an empties video very soon and this is a definite repurchase for me the next item are a couple of um makeup items uh one of the items is the essence quattro eyeshadow quad and it is in the color to die for this is a very neutral quad and I recently hauled this and it is I love it it is so easy to use and I will swatch the colors for you so that you can see how pigmented they are and they are easy to blend and this is what they look like now these colors really, really work for me. I can um, blend them with no problem. I kind of know how to place them. And with them being a quad, I mean, it's, it only gives me four colors to choose from. So I can kind of say, oh, okay, well, this go here or this go there or I'm going to put this here. So um, it's I can work with it with no issue. I like it. Um, I definitely will be purchasing more of these quads. And this is a... I got this from... Walgreens um, and they do sell at Ulta as well and I, I highly recommend these quads for newbies the next item I purchased and I purchased this item off Holt Look and it is the Bomb Cabana Boy and this is the blush I will swatch it and it is so pretty so pretty Definitely a great color for fall. It's a little bit deeper. Um, it has just a little bit of shimmering, but I'm okay with shimmer. Um, I love it. I mean, it's it's just it's just one of those things that like once you find a good blush, and this actually kind of remind me of the Black Radiance blush that I wear all the time, and Peach Shore. It kind of remind me of the Bomb Cabana Boy. In a sense, in a sense, this does very, very similar. I think the Black Radiance has a little bit more sheen to it, but they're very similar in color. Next, my last favorite item is, and I just found, you well, just decided to try this particular line. It is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss, and I actually have it on today, and it is in the color T Rose. These are. Um, I think I'm cheating on Milani. I I love I love these. They have a really good smell, and they are creamy. They're not sticky at all, and they are just I I really like them. And I am going to purchase more. I have I think I have beige, and I do have a couple other colors that I'm interested in. It's a red one, and it's another one that's called Natural. Um. That I want to try, so I really, really like these. So, those are my favorites. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon.